Good morning. Good morning once again. You are welcome to Property Matter. Yes, that program will be say we design them on how to be intelligent in terms of buying property, sales of property, or why you should have your own property. Everything we get to do with property now we discuss here. And our anchor man, the man will be we'll be saying in the uh, leaders as far as property they're concerned and no other person but engineer Debo. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief. How are you? <laughs> Your beard is uh, looking very, very trimmed today. Uh, <laughs> good morning, yeah, viewers. Yeah. See me? Yeah, good morning. <laughs> I'm very well. Good morning. Yeah, trust we are all fine. Uh, the Amazon, I don't know whether it's coming or it's going. <laughs> no, I don't or... know. Because it came again yesterday. Abi? Because I see it was there yeah, yesterday. I felt it yesterday. A bit too. of this morning. Mm, yes, still. this morning too. Yeah. I wanted to say. Are you not liking it? Maybe it's the AC in the. Well, I no, but then the AC is working too. She? Okay, so I everything is working to the, together. I prefer it to the eat, actually. I don't like Absolutely. You don't like. No, he gets my car dirty, so it's Yamata. annoying. Can you so, it can't... <laughs> <laughs> so you rather be hot. Ah. I don't know, but yeah. the, fact, the fact that I can't wash is not chopping my money, I'm chopping, and then the stress of me washing my car, she? I don't think I like it. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I get you. I get you. No worry, let's uh, car wash. At least. Let them make some money. Yeah, time. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> so, this morning, we'll be talking on the importance of terms and conditions, okay, mm. in property transactions. Okay. They are so vital, so important, and... It pains me, really, okay, from my experience, that a lot of people don't pay the deserved attention to them. They don't pay attention to those things at all, as much as they should. I think we are all somehow guilty. Somehow guilty, are small, we? Yes, and a lot of times, the issues that people have just comes down to the terms and conditions of a transaction. Mm. So the importance, okay, the importance of terms and conditions in property transactions. That's what we'll be discussing today. If you've missed any of our episodes, I want I want to encourage you to go to the YouTube channel of WAP TV after this episode, okay? Go to the YouTube channel and watch all of the past episodes. Uh, there are numerous topics that we've covered that will benefit you, especially this year. You know, January, everybody starts. Yeah. Why is it that January, everybody is, you know, New Year like, resolution? I think, <laughs> I think that's like People want to, to invest, yeah. they want to know, they want to learn, they want There's to get like a certificate. New chapter. It's like you're starting You know, yeah, fresh, opportunity and... to start afresh, mm -hmm. you know. By February, some of them will already start <laughs> having cough. Yeah, are saying February. <laughs> In a day, but people are some people are already dropping. Already the now. The energy, Just the morale is already dropping already. for some people. Wow, oh, can you imagine? Far. By March, April, like this, people have forgotten that they Since even go promised themselves to, the to do anything. They just Since you go back to normal. To <laughs> factory settings, <laughs> streets. <straight. laughs> you know, so today, that's what we'll be talking about. And I'll just be using uh, the example of a typical, some content of terms and conditions for a typical organization. Now, uh, now I'm talking about an existing organization with lots of projects, I'll just read out some items mm -hmm. under their terms and conditions and then try to speak to them. And we see the importance, why it is important for these companies to put these things there and why it is important for you buying to note these things so that you know what you are getting into at yeah, Benicio and mm -hmm. you'll be able to not cause unnecessary stress for yourself, yes, okay? Because when you don't know, sometimes you've planned your own life in a different way, but mm -hmm. you've committed to a different thing. Mm -hmm. So you get along the way, and then there is that friction mm -hmm. because the two are not jelly. What you thought you bought is not exactly what you signed up for, you know? So don't, don't be thinking that is what you bought. <laughs> no, that is what you bought. And now to do that is by reading those terms and, and conditions. Condition very well. There are no, you must note that there are no two transactions that are the same. Okay. I tell people that no two transactions are the same. No two products are the same. No two companies are the same. Because I get this a lot. Some people will tell you, ah, but I have a lot of uh, property investment. In that other company, they don't tell me to do this. <laughs> Okay. There are a lot of things that company also tells you to do that we yeah, don't do tell you to do. Mm. So what did we promise you? Don't stop comparing us with another mm -hmm. company. Stop comparing company A with, with company, company B. B. Or even within the same company, stop comparing estate A or project A with project B. There are terms, there are structures, there are conditions for each project, for each organization. Get to discover them. Get to read them. Ask for them. It's not 
a fluke or play or joke mm. when an organization puts in their advert materials terms and conditions mm -hmm. apply. You always see it in fine prints, yeah. in most advert, uh, advert materials. What they are telling you is that, hey, there are some set of information that you would need to ask for if you are not given mm. and make sure that you read it and understand it because it is on the basis of these things mm. that you are getting into this transaction mm. or that we are making this offer to you. So, please and please and please, I beg all this, I trust you, Shebi is you. Uh, no, no, stop doing those things. They just show you as being, ah, I don't want to use that Naive word. or it's ignorant. Too, uh, let me naive is, naive. A, is a mild word, yes. Naive, mm -hmm. my, naive may be better. And even it's that like... That shows you are, that you are so naive when it comes to investment. It's like one is opening yes, itself yes. as a prey. Of course, yeah, uh, to yeah, people yeah. that may want to even now swindle you. You know, some people go out deliberately to want to separate you from your money. Hmm. I hope you know that. Sure. Why some are genuinely doing their business? But even if you are genuinely doing your business, yes. uh, Engineer Debo, yeah. if you show me too, uh, too many naive parts of you or you are making me realize that you are nothing I but a prey. Uh, if you are showing me you are nothing but a prey, I may not want to swindle you, but where you are saying, mm -hmm. I trust you, I trust you, I just believe this one doesn't even know a jack about this. Of course, you will know. What I'm saying is, I'm even talking about the, eh, well, you may not take advantage if you are not, if you are not, yes, if you are not structured person. to be that way. What I mean is that the company may not take advantage of, there are companies we don't take advantage of people, for example. Okay. In as much as they are trying to make profit. Yes, we don't take advantage of it. Because you see, this is what happens. When that happens, a lot of times the transaction is done at that point. But in the future, very near or far, you will get into hurdles as, as a result of those transactions mm. that you've consummated. And of course, it will lead to you losing other transactions that, may, that mm. might have come from that person, or either directly more. Or indirectly. Mm. Do you understand? So it's better even if we will lose your transaction mm. and keep the relationship, knowing the basis upon which we lost your transaction, meaning that you probably couldn't afford it, you didn't agree with one time or the other. Because in future, we may have something that you now then want. I mean, I've done business with a lot of people who they probably didn't buy from us the first time or all the time, mm -hmm. but they always buy every now and then when we have something that suits their. Uh, purpose and there are transactions that people would ask for we don't have mm. and we will go out to other colleagues other friends you know who would have what exactly they are they looking want. for and get it for them still play a role in their getting what it is that they require mm -hmm. you know and that is keeping the relationship so a lot a lot of organizations are structured that way but there are those also who will take advantage so you don't want to be naive please you don't want to be it's not as if you, you, you don't trust me. But <laughs> I would even want to, because a lot of people will tell you they trust you. They are the ones who cause problems for you. A sure, lot later. sure, sure. Because you telling the guy, read your terms and conditions. Are will you, you come for inspection? When will you come for inspection? She he me. says, exactly. <laughs> she 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 me. No. Nah, no be you. You are my guy now. I like you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. He didn't read that. Then, when it now comes to, maybe something happens. Let's even say something happens. Or nothing even happens. It's now time to make a particular payment that you guys have stated there. You say, ah, what type of payment is that? Shebi have paid for the property. Or have paid for Oga. You've paid for the property, but it's clearly stated that you should cover the cost of this and that. Ah, you people didn't tell me this. That's how they will start telling you. Eden charges. Eden charges. That's the word. Oh, fine print. Fine print. Oga, look. That's why you went to school to be able to read now. Eh? Whether it's fine or not, once you can see it, why don't you just read it? If you don't understand it, talk to your lawyer. I was just about talk to somebody yeah, that can yes. Talk to somebody lawyer. that can advise you. But don't, don't, please, please, I beg you. I don't know whether I should possibly for you. <laughs> hey? No fall victim. Don't be honest. You're only doing this as a result don't, of what you've seen. That's what I, you're I've seen it too many a time. Too many a time. I mean, just too many a time that people just cause unnecessary problem for themselves, themselves or they allow themselves to be swindled. Mm. Because, I mean, they put themselves in that situation. If they've asked for some critical things, it will have been clear. Now, let's talk about terms and conditions. These are clearly written stuff mm. that the organization puts together. Mm. 
okay. th to say that these are the basis upon which we are selling. Take, for example, now, this company sells properties, okay. built properties. Now, I will read one or yes, two. Yes. Sorry, I use glasses at times <laughs> when I'm not eating in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it says, all prices quoted in this document, mm. that's the advertisement mm. document and all, mm. are inclusive of value-added tax. Okay. Now, sales documentation fee, service charge deposit, mm. asset replacement deposit, survey fee, and other related charges. This is their condition. So they say that whatever price we've told you here, mm. if we told you that you are going to pay 200 million for this property mm -hmm. or 10 million or 5 million for this mm -hmm. property, it includes bath and all of those things. They've mm. stated it clearly. Some organization will tell you our price is 3.5 million is exclusive of VAT. Okay. So when you bought from this organization and they told you their price is 5 million and um, they didn't ask you for VAT separately, mm. don't take it as that is the norm that you obtains everywhere. everywhere. Mm. When you now get to another organization and they say our price is 3.5 mm. and is exclusive of VAT, mm. you try not to... They'll understand? Uh -huh. No, you, some some people will not understand the exclusive of, of VAT. It is when they paid the three profile. You are not asking for the VAT. They will say, ah, why? But I paid. Uh, they will, ah, but the other company I just paid once. They didn't ask me all of these things. No, okay. they've told you it's exclusive of VAT. Mm. That's how they structure deals. Take for example, and there are reasons why companies sometimes don't want to add up all of these fees to their prices. One. To be able to sound reasonable is part of marketing. Market strategy, yeah? yes. Yes, the market to strategy. To be able cheaper. to sound reasonable and, and cheaper affordable to the market. You know, so that you can at least come and make inquiry. Mm. Then, once they have you with them, they can sit down with you and explain every other thing to, to you. you. So that they can Rather than if you had seen the, the whole price, will, yeah, you, you might not have even bothered to call them. Yes. And it could be that you can afford it. If, I mean, you guys sit down and discuss, they can find a way by which you'll be able to afford the same thing that you ran away from. So mm -hmm. a company is there to do business, and so they will try to see how they can get customers in the door, at least. Get them to face, I mean, to have a sit down mm. and discuss and see how they can make this work for both of them, I mean, mm. for the company and for the customer. So the fact that this company has lumped up all their own charges, you know, they talked about VAT, they talked about, because the they do... A service charge deposit, meaning that probably the first year service charge mm. is already part of a deposit is already part of what you've paid for when mm. you pay for the house. So in that kind of a property, when you want to move in, they won't be asking you for the okay. first year that okay, pay service mm -hmm. charge, pay the first year service charge. No, you've paid it with the price. But, but another organization, subsequently, of course, yeah. you'll be paying. But another organization. Might not have included all of that. So when you pay for uh, the property, they will tell you pay for VAT when you want to get allocation. Pay for your service uh, charge before, first year mm. service charge before we allocate to you or you take your keys, you know, things like that. Asset replacement, when you are living in an estate, for example, there are assets that have been provided. They did the road, they put transformer mm. there. You know how we do mm. it in this part of the world. Mm. The infrastructure is your responsibility. Mm. The government is absent or they are still sleeping. Mm. Maybe they wake up one day. Mm. They would have to wake up, actually. Mm. As, as they continue to ask us for our tax, we would also have, have to start to ask them for what they are doing with it. Okay, so you still provide all of this infrastructure and street lights and all of that. And they have a chef life. Mm. They have a life cycle. They will go, they will, they will stop working. They will, obsolescence will catch up mm. one of these days. Of so they need to be replaced. It is not when your generator is packing up as an estate, okay, that you will now think of, ah, how do we now mm. rally around and contribute money to buy another one? It may be too strenuous yeah, for so people's yeah, finances. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It may, yeah, exactly. It may be too strenuous. So what? A good estate would have done yeah, in their service the facility management mm -hmm. plan mm -hmm. is they would have structured checking the chef life life cycle of all of those things useful life. Mm. They would have structured how you can be paying some amounts in advance, mm. you see, so that you are already making they call yeah. it sinking fund. You are already putting money together okay. for the eventualities of replacing 
those assets that have been created, or the road, uh, fence uh, fell, and all of those things, you know, electricity poles, mm -hmm. all of the lines, transformers, swimming pool, whatever you have, you know, to be able to replace them over time, okay? Mm -hmm. Different from maintenance, which is service charge and all of those things. So, some organizations plan that ahead and differently. Mm -hmm. This one, even your replacement asset, I mean, yes, your survey fee is already there. Your other related charges, they said. For some organizations, they don't put some charges they cannot control. Why? Because if it changes, they cannot easily change their price. So they like to exclude them and have you pay them separately so that whenever it changes, they will just they communicate to you that this is now yeah. the price, you know, mm -hmm. because survey is not entirely their own responsibility for it. VAT, for example, is not entirely... We know okay. that VAT just increased from yeah. 5 they to 7.5, yeah. you know. Okay, on, on that, yeah. let's just hold you a bit. Huh? You've <laughs> done uh, judiciously well. To Thank that. you. Uh, we'll go on this skinny break. Uh, property matter will be right back. Go nowhere, yep. please. Yep. 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 The best investment on earth is earth. The issue of say make a person get out, make a person get land, make a person. Property matter na serious business, so one of the best investments we person fi get for life. Share you be estate agent, surveyor, town planner, or you day into furniture, and you go like make the world sabi your level. Come advertise with us on top property matter where they share it for Web TV for every Tuesday from eight fifteen to nine a.m. Yes, yeah, why you won't buy property with be those terms where you really need to look out for. We be say, you know, go make you a prey in the hand of the hunter. And you know, go make you look naive to them. Even if they want to do you, once they see, say, you know, one or two things, you ask for terms and conditions, uh, fair self will greet them small, say, be like, say, this one, no, waiting in they, they do. Now, what will they discuss? Be that that is the importance of terms and conditions in property transactions. Yeah. Uh, engineer Adebo don't open one company you own. You don't read them. That's uh, what we are using as a case study. Exactly. So you stopped at the issue the, of survey. The first one, yes. Let me read the second uh, terms and conditions. It says that payments by installments may be acceptable. May be acceptable subject to approval. That means if you want to pay to this company, you want to break your payments, they would have to get approval from their management or something. It said failure, if it is gotten, failure, refusal, or neglect to pay any installment within 21 calendar days after the due date may result in a price increase without recourse to the buyer. So what they are saying here is that if they offer you installment uh, payment yeah. option, okay, and let's say you are supposed to be paying by 30th of every month, okay? So, 30th of December, you could not pay. You should not fail to pay after 21 days. So, by 20th of January, you should have paid. Otherwise, when you want to pay by the 21st, yeah. they may tell you that, Oga, the price was 50 when you bought. It's now 55. You have a difference of five. How are you going to pay it if you are still interested? Because you have breached the contract. Because you have breached the contract. And you know for us as a people, installment payment is a big problem for a lot of Nigerians. One, for lack of financial discipline, I think. Two, because we... Some people just don't pay attention to it. And we don't put systems in place that would help us keep to it. So something is due on the third year. It's just like house rent, school fees. You know, a lot of people just neglect those things. Not really that they wouldn't have been able to make it up on the days they are expected to. But they just feel like they can always discuss. After all, ah, I will pay it one <laughs> month after, two months after, uh, one week after, two by the next mm. day. What is that, you know? So what they are saying is that there are implications for defaulting. And let me tell you why a company will do that. Sorry, sir, Engineer Day, but before yeah. we go there, do you know what I actually observed? That the, there's, there's an ambiguity in that statement. How? And the ambiguity is very smart of them. You see that they say, these people talk, say, 21 Days, yeah, 
It's different from 21 working days. No, they said calendar days. Calendar days. Uh, the word calendar days yeah. there means it's Saturday it's and Sunday, Sunday yes. inclusive. The yes, accounting. Nah, it's not working days. It's not working days. No. Some companies will tell you 21 working mm -hmm. days. Yes, that's different. That's, you will not you count Saturday yes and, and Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. A situation where you feel, ah, she be is 21 days. And you count. You didn't include Saturday and Sunday. You bring your money you are After, your own. You are your own. You are they your started, own. They stated yeah. the calendar days. I think yes. that's very ambiguous and smart of them. Well, I it's, know, it's the clear. They just, in, uh. It's not even ambiguity. Mm -hmm. I think they are trying to avoid ambiguity by actually using that word to let you know that it's calendar days. You are not counting. Yes, so you know what you are counting. You are not going to say, ah, did you count weekend? Weekend. <laughs> or did you count weekend? They've told you it's calendar yeah, days. days. Mm -hmm. eh? Monday to Sunday. That's mm -hmm. it. I mean, Sunday to... Uh, Saturday, that makes a week, week for a calendar. So that's what they've told us here. 21 days. And why a company would do this? One of the reasons is, you know, people need to realize that for a company to go out there and build structures is a contract. Uh, chain transactions that are riding yeah. on all of those activities. For example, this development company, ordinarily a development company does not build by, by itself. You know, so you would have contracted someone to build for you, a builder. They would have probably given those builders maybe money or bank guarantee mm. to say, go ahead and build. Mm. As you build, they have milestones, they have project timelines, they have work plan. Okay, as you build to this stage, and our consultants confirm it, the quality and all of that, we will pay seven days after mm. this amount that has been agreed. All of those are riding on the back of the fact that they've now sold to someone who also has said that, okay, every 30th of the month, we'll I paying. will be paying this. So they've tied all of those things up. <laughs> and then you're such from that to slow. if you should default, it, it will, will affect, affect them. It will affect them. It will have a spiral effect. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And what they would need to do to correct that anomaly is to probably go to a bank or find money somewhere. And no money story. always has a cost. Mm. You must realize that. However, they are going to get the money. Even if it is that money they would have used in the company for something else is what they now divided to cover that gap. There is what they call opportunity cost. cost. It means the money would have been used for something else, but, but they've lost that they've forgotten that opportunity to be able to you, uh, you know to be able to that alternative, to be able to use it to now fill this hole. It will come at a cost, and guess who will bear that cost? You. The person that costs. The client. <laughs> the default. Yes. And that's why they tell you that, hey, for us, oh, we can, we have a wiggle room of about 21 days. But after that, we would have to be speaking <laughs> very good cost language. Yes, yeah, from our lawyers. <laughs> you Anyways, know, um, engineer, let me just do the up a yeah. bit. Let's open Let's the phone line. Wow, so that we've not even people wow. can contribute and, of course, ask questions. I think when it comes to this, I can still say ignorance of whatever it is is not necessary. It's at all. No, 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 be excused. At all. <laughs> so at when all. you make that mistake, then you should be ready for whatever consequences at are all. Yeah. So, guys, call the numbers. 081 Turn down the volume of your TV set. And just in case you don't come across any conditions or like that whatever, before. yes, yeah. that you're not clear with, uh, I think you can still talk to Engineer Debo. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be able to help out on all of that. So, yeah. Thank okay, you. So, so, now let's look at this third one. Mm. They went further from that previous one to say mm -hmm. payment default of more than 30 calendar days may result in forfeiture. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And did they state that they forfeiture give of, money? Wait now. Okay. Forfeiture of property being acquired. Okay. They now said, any deposit already paid by the buyer may be refunded hmm. at our okay. discretion. Oh. Discretion. Oh. Oh. Less a 10% administration's Fee, administration fee, and only once an alternative buyer has paid for the property in full. Wow. Wow. 
What a condition. What a condition. No, what it's a not what a condition. <laughs> and what a <laughs> You see, you guys, we need to understand that <laughs> so it transactions is, it is your own right duty uh, to even go and be praying that another person should come and buy. Somebody comes to buy and he buys and pays It is, because you see, <laughs> that is what is called a contract. Yeah. When you sign the contract to say that, I want to be paying for this so-so period, on the back of what you've signed, a developer has gotten a bank guarantee. If they should call that guarantee, there will be a problem if they can't pay. You understand? Sure. And so, whoever causes that problem would have to bear the consequence. Sure. And what they are saying here is that 21 days, yes, we can mm. be talking about increase in price. But once it's 30 days, calendar, you may forfeit. <laughs> and you see they are clever. They said may. Meaning, they will also assess conditions. Mm -hmm. If it is such that they can still discuss with you, mm -hmm. looking at your condition, looking at the, their own condition mm -hmm. also, they may come to an agreement. But if they cannot, they can also say, oh, God, sorry, mm -hmm. you don't have a property again. Mm -hmm. What we are owing you now is the money you've paid, which we are promised to refund once we get a buyer who has bought the same property that you now no longer can buy and we will pay you whatever you paid less 10%. Because okay. there are costs to this transaction. So some people will say, I've had situations where people will say, hey, but after all, you've been using my money to do business. <laughs> uh, pay me interest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? You didn't see so, so, so bank PLC. <laughs> when they advertised to you, they didn't say, come and open an account with us mm. or buy a money bond uh, mm. uh, policy mm. do fixed deposit that's not what they told you they said buy a property from us and you got a price which is a bargain at the time you are buying it okay and you had how you should pay what so what has happened want. is that as you are paying they are committing it to their business they are not saving it in a bank for you to be yielding interest because they think you will default they don't they didn't plan you will default you two didn't plan. Most most often, we, we don't plan. Customers actually... I yeah, mean, obviously. It's not as if they plan to. Mm -hmm. a, lot of people, then, yes, if fairness, a lot of people don't plan. But circumstances happen. Mm. Which would have to be addressed. Because if we just allow circumstances to have a feed day, it means from the person it first happens to, it will affect the company. That, yeah. It will affect people working in the, the company who can't collect their salary. Mm. It will affect their families. It will affect the school they are going, their children are, are effect, going. Like you said. So we have to nip it. Mm. And now you board. nip it is by having some default clause, some penalties, so that those things are taken care of. Can I ask you a question, sir? Yes, go ahead, please. Okay, a situation where a person know the default, yeah. they pay on time, yeah. and he has been consistent with his payment, yeah. but something can't happen. Mm. Before that 21 days, mm. he carry pen, put to paper, mm. he writes the company, say, See what thing happen. This thing will happen soon. Now nah, shock our no plan for a month. Man get belay. Man get belay. See what thing happen. Mm. I ask for extra ten or fifteen more days mm. added to the twenty one calendar days. Mm. Please, sir, is there something like that? Can it be obtainable? Very fantastic question, Chief. So, one thing I would advise and tell everybody watching us is that you see, learn to use the power of negotiation in any transaction you find yourself in. Never, never shy away from negotiating what it is that you, uh, that you want to. Okay. There is nothing stopping you from writing and asking for anything. That's before you go into it. Uh, no, no, no. He's yeah. saying that you've already, you are already doing the transaction. Mm -hmm. You are still interested mm -hmm. in the property, but something came up. Okay. It will affect your payment, mm -hmm. maybe even beyond the 21 days. Okay. You understand? Sure. But you, you've seen it, and then you are putting it across to them to ask for their permission. Mm -hmm. Not that you are just staying aloof. Mm -hmm. for the days to go, okay. and then you now come on the 23rd day and, and say, I want to pay okay. exactly the same. No. <laughs> but you've known ahead. It's just like, I mean, see what happens. A tenant, a reasonable tenant that will not be able to pay his landlord mm. on due date, mm. usually will go to the landlord bef as before soon as they the, know yeah. that they won't be able to meet that deadline like, to say, Baba, oh, Mama, mm. sorry, hey, Joe, okay. Emma Binu, sorry, don't be annoyed, angry. Though. There is something I was planning, you know, the thing didn't come through. I would um, please allow me, grant me, and they will give a particular by mm. so so time. I should be able to have tidied it up mm. and I'll be able to. I just said I should inform you early, knowing that this has happened. I don't mm. want to wait till when you'll be expecting the money. And you will see that most of the time, most of the time, you will get that authorization mm. and that cooperation. Sure. 
So people should explore it their It position. only shows that you're not taking things for granted. For granted. You're the not taking them for granted. Talks, eh? You get me for mind. Yes. Mm. You're, you're thinking of So don't just stay aloof. And then when they are now asking you for the rent <laughs> or for the payment, you now say, ah, don't you know that uh, <laughs> don't you uh, 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 December was dead? Hey, oh, Mr. Deba. Mr. Deba. Don't you know that December was dead? Who said you go show? <laughs> eh? You don't turn finish up. money. You don't turn, turn up. up. You don't finish money. Dirty December. Try. You don't finish <laughs> You said you have carry that dead. December to dry cleaner. I'm telling tell you, you have January to wash it. You yeah. just have to wash it very well. So, explore negotiation, mm. okay? Don't wait till the condition crystallizes mm. before you now start to find amends or mm. make amends. No, explore negotiation. Go ahead. It helps, okay? And you'll be able to get favor. So, you can see that term. And they are putting it there. Just to know that people don't continue to stay and not paying and think they have a property. Hmm. So you will sit up when you are faced with this situation to find ways to meet this obligation so as not to lose the property. Hmm. Do you understand? Where the property sellers default, yeah. what do we have? You, they, they keep telling us their own time. What do we have as an edge? Oh, to? great. So I tell people that, you see, once you sign contracts like this, hmm. even without, I mean, you can ask your lawyers, even without the uh, developer putting some things there that uh, talks about their own, the reverse is the case. What I mean by that is that, meaning if you keep to term and they failed Fail. to, maybe the promised date of delivery and mm. things like that, you can explore that hmm. at any time also. You can write them to say that, I will stop paying because... So far, I've paid 40%, for example. You said by the time I pay 40%, you, you would have reached this, yeah. this, this stage. You have not reached this stage, and you did not provide any acceptable explanation. You understand? So, mm -hmm. I will stop. so you see organizations, too, that have oh, promised okay. milestones mm -hmm. and that are having difficulty meeting. They will come ahead mm -hmm. and tell you that, uh, blah, 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 due to this, blah, 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 sorry, please, it may affect, by this time we should be able to, they will also state, so they are also in the same situation as you. But you see, usually they have the higher hand when it comes okay. to negotiation yeah. because they are the ones that set these terms and conditions mm. and you are the mm. ones that go there to buy. <laughs> A lot of the time, people get those things written down for them when they come early in a transaction mm. and a developer is still seriously in need of funds. So if somebody shows up, let's say an organization is developing 100 units of an apartment and then a group shows up just at the time they are starting to say, we want 30 of this. I tell you, eh, forget the contract that that organization will sell to the other 70. That, those first 30 may collect that contract. They will put their own impute. They will say, this is what we want. They will, they will sit down on the table and agree the document. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because at that point, the guy needs what they call off-takers. He needs the money to be able to start mm -hmm. something. So he's more open to a lot of things. And at that point, he doesn't have that much. In negotiation, that is what you call advantage. You have, okay. you, you are, you are at an advantage at some time, and sometimes you are at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to balance your act and tact mm -hmm. to be able to get what it is that you want. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, sh why... People are not calling. <laughs> they're enjoying, they're it's taking cool, notes. Cool. Um, they're taking, okay, it's a classroom. Yes, it's a um, classroom effect. Uh, okay. This is where they pay money on a normal today. Abio, and actually, we teach this for a Free. good sum of money. Mm. For a good sum of money. See? After now, I'm going to one of the classes. People paid heavily. <laughs> To mm. attend that you are getting it for free. And wow. United they thank, write down. thank Debo Adejano and thank WAP TV. Thank you for bringing this to you. <laughs> we appreciate you. See, now look at another condition here. Title document to the property will only be given to the buyer upon full payment of the purchase oh. of the purchase okay. consideration and related charges. Mm. You understand? Mm. Then they went further to say buyer shall bear all costs and expenses relating to the transfer of title of the property into their name. You know that when a company has a project, mm. they have it in their own name. When you are buying, you are buying one aspect of it, mm. you should perfect it. That's what they call perfection mm. in your name. So the fact that you've paid them for this and that, even documentation, does not include perfecting or transferring that 
so tied to into your name. It does not include what it, what it covers is majorly the to prepare the documents that they will give you. Okay, you will now have to go and process titling, or they can process it for you at a cost. That's what they are saying. Okay, so you don't yeah, think that don't think what you've paid covers. is inclusive of the transfer of title, mm. doing transfer of title. No, that's what they are saying here. Mm. Some, like we said, projects differ yeah, hey, from one to the other. Companies differ either. from one to the other. Mm -hmm. Another company may say, hey, if you pay this sum, it includes everything. We will transfer title in your name also. It's inclusive. Anytime it takes us. Depending if they can do that, why not? If that's what they promised mm -hmm. and what they are pay what you are paying for. So that can you happen. know? Yeah, I mean there are some cases like that. Although mm -hmm. very experienced developers would hardly put such things. Why? Because you see, that process is not within your control. In terms of how long it will you take all, okay. and how much it will cost. So if you now fix a particular they price and things change mm -hmm. and somebody has already paid that price, it will be difficult for you to go and ask for additional more, money, mm -hmm. except you've also put it in the condition okay. to say that prices can be reviewed mm -hmm. subject to this and this and this without recourse okay. to the whatever, you know? Except if you've tidied that up, mm -hmm. it will be difficult for you to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, they said all sales are final and shall be made on the assumption that the buyer has inspected the property, mm. conducted all necessary legal and structural due diligence, and is acquiring the property as is, okay. unless otherwise stated. So you cannot buy from this company now and come back later Tomorrow to say I that. Said. You people did not do this thing well. Okay, we have the first caller, Frank. Oh, Frank from Ilori. Good morning, Frank. You broke the jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frank, good morning. Good morning, Chief. How are you doing, sir? Fine, sir. Question or contribution, please? Uh, first of all, I want to contribute. Uh, I'm enjoying your program. Everything uh, you guys have been saying uh, is really inspiring me. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. So, uh, my question is, what if in a contract, maybe a buyer has been following a due process and has been has been cooperating with the terms and condition, then unfortunately maybe the buyer gets ill or gets hospitalized and the family members are not aware of any such contract and then a time of renewal after the twenty one days he has he has still been hospitalized. So maybe when the family gets to find out that this man or the buyer has been has been in such kind of contract. So, what do you advise the buyer should do? Thank you, Frank. Uh, your question is similar to what oh, yeah. uh, Chief pointed out us to. So I said, don't be afraid to always go forward mm -hmm. and negotiate. So if that was the case, put together a write-up to explain your situation. If you have supporting documents attached, and say it was because of this that I was not able to kindly consider blah blah mm -hmm. blah blah blah. Sure, there are exceptions. You know? they can't I, be mean, I mean, every organization should have a human face. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if they are being reasonable and considerate, they will look at the situation and consider. Maybe they've also tried to reach you. They could do. They may even be the first to discover that, okay, you've been hospitalized. For every transaction, usually in most organizations, there is an account officer attached to you mm -hmm. who is supposed to at least have a good idea, a fair idea of well, why this customer yeah. is not paying, mm -hmm. you know? So they probably will have found out ahead of you even, being able to now come around and be able to write those things. So why not put up this request to them through your account officer or directly, however you can, and see what you get. Most likely, you will get a favorable response. They may give you a wiggle room and allow you to do stuff, mm -hmm. okay? So it's not really, we're just saying that, hey, know what you are getting into ahead of time. So that you also know how to address things if they should show up. Mm. Okay? Now, for that last uh, uh, condition we we're talking about, so you cannot come back and say, this is how, no, I need, this thing wasn't done. You are buying as is. It's as is. You've been inspected. So you can't say, I didn't see the place. Uh, Oga, <laughs> you should have seen the place. We told you it that we, we are buying, assum assuming that you've seen the place. So if you did not see the place, and seeing the place was important to you, you should have come to see the place. Mm. You know? Well, so, 
Thank you very much. You are buying Assis. You are not buying Bayo yes, or Kunle Assis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, there's no story. Thank you very much, Engineer uh, Debo. Thank you, thank you so you much. My pleasure. Every one of us will say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. Watching.